panel. So we have, in typical Singapore fashion, we've got just over a quarter of an hour to uh, uh, talk. So I don't know if anybody would like to ask some questions. Oh, I have some other question. Um, you're, you're, I've read the poems and it seems like you, you, you always translate something visual into thoughts and edit it down into your poems. And I wonder whether there are, there are any poems perhaps you write based on something that you really want to portray in the first place. Not just perhaps an experience, but maybe you want to talk about an issue which is more abstract, which is not visual. So like for example, you're talking about skin. It was something, you you said something like you were disappointed, perhaps you didn't talk about the cruelty. Is there anything where perhaps you thought first about the cruelty and you want to write a poem about it? Mm, I think. I, I'm trying to recall an instance where that happened. Uh, I think so, but usually the poems that begin like that turn out very bad. So they're usually abandoned sooner than later. Um, yeah, because I don't know. Okay, I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm a very creative person in the sense of being spontaneously able to come up with something. It's usually almost definitely a, a stimulus, and it's almost always visual, as you mentioned. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, there there is one poem. Okay. Um, yeah, there is one poem. If you have this. Um, if you if you if you don't, uh, I have a few copies. You can buy them for me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. If you look at page fifty three, poem called Celebration. Um, this was this was completely thought up, uh, in the sense that. Okay, the the poem starts a semblance of eternity, tenery singing beyond the window, joined by a muezzin's desk and chant. I've never woken anywhere, to a muezzin's desk and chant or canary singing outside the window. Um, but this celebration is, in a sense, a narration of um, the process of waking up. And I, I wanted to show with the poem that every waking up every day should be a celebration in itself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this was a very rare, uh, publishable piece. M most of most of those that begin as thoughts usually end as thoughts rather than on the pages. Well. Okay, I have another question. Okay, both of you just finished A levels, right? IB. I did IB. Oh, okay, but still, you all went through the whole system of, of schooling. So, when you are being taught, you are, you are being taught, okay, metaphors, so you need alliteration, you need all of this. Does this actually affect how you write? Does it actually say, oh crap, is my poem good enough because it doesn't have like metaphors or, or imagery? Does it, does it change? Do you have to re edit everything because of what you learned in school? Because if I think about like poets from long, long time ago, I don't, know, I don't think they are stopped by any of this. But well, uh, I think the poets of long ago are actually more. They have they write they write in like iambic pentameter and everything, and they write with like their you know their everything trom you know trochaic and all that kind of stuff, but and a pestic meter and all that. But uh, at least for me, I mean, nowadays we I, I don't think do you, you write in free verse, right? Mm. Okay, so we write in free verse. And uh, I mean, I guess they, not that because I learned it in school, I'm like, oh, I better make sure that I have alliteration here and there's a metaphor here, a checklist kind of thing. But in a sense that um, it will happen naturally because, I mean, these are literary devices, I think not because they were created by like, by like the A-levels or like not created because some professor thought that, that a metaphor would be like, no, it's not created by somebody for, for people, but that it happened naturally for for, uh, to writers and and such, they just give a name to call it. In a sense that any time we compare, you know, we compare, you know, this maybe a feeling to an object, it's really a simile. So in that sense, I think when when writing a poem in which you are drawing together comparisons and trying to tell, trying to trying to give, uh, trying to retell an experience or or, or relay a, a a feeling or a thought or so on, you know, metaphors will come naturally. And when you craft words together, when you put words together, the 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 oral the the sounds of them will naturally give cause to have alliteration because it has a flow like you know when you, when you have those you know assonance and like the vowels and all that so i mean it is part of the process that will that will happen and i guess if you want to you can when you edit it you you try to make it like neater but i don't but i i, I don't think at least for me i don't um i won't like tell myself that i really i must do it in that way and use those those things 
although like following the direction of, of where you want to go, you you lean more on, on certain literary devices than the, than others. I, think. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, I was wondering how, when you're writing, how, how important is the sense of an audience? Uh, do you have people in mind, or do you have a sort of general sense, or do you not have a, an audience in mind at all? Mm. A readership, I mean. Yeah, um, I I always, actually almost always write um, for an audience. I mean, not not any specific person, not but apart from one for birthday, I, was, I meant to mention that my question. I mean, you you, you wrote <coughs> for, uh, your your friend. Mm. You know that he was going to read that. Yeah. But in, when you're not writing for a specific person in mind, do, do, what what do you have in mind if anything about an audience? Um. <coughs> Okay, I, I think uh, when I write, I try to cater the language in a sense that it will be understood. And uh, the criteria that I have for being understood is, uh, at present, that of my Facebook friends. Um, because uh, usually when I'm done with a poem, I'll post it on Facebook. And people will come back to me and say, that sucks, or, or that's a really good one. And then, and then I'll know which ones are getting through. And because this is the feedback that I'm getting, I mean, this is the, the response that I'm getting, so gradually my poems become catered more and more to um, my, my Facebook readers' level of, uh, I suppose, comprehension and taste and, and things like that, yeah. So I, I think especially because uh, writers, um, I mean, I, we don't write in a vacuum, so there's always the process of feedback and we rely on the feedback to get better. And feedback has to come from a certain audience. So even if we don't start out having the audience in mind, gradually it finds its way into the, into the work. Yeah, in the sense of what we ourselves now know to be the most effective way of communicating an idea. Yeah. So, um, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, um, I guess for me, I, I think most of the poetry I've written is like, ideally, I'm, I would like to try to, you know, invite the readers to go on this, you know, kind of like experience with me in that sense. But I think like, in that sense, um, that's why I'll probably I'll probably take the first person perspective more, with uh, I as the center as the as the center of the point. But um, in that sense, in a way, it is written for audience. In a way, it's, really not, it's not really because it's not it's not written with the idea that I'm going to stand on a stage and present this to the readers in front of me. It's more as though like when they are reading this privately and they are by themselves. Can they, will they sort of feel like they sort of know where I'm walking, where I'm coming from, what I'm talking about, and how I'm feeling in this, in this poem? So in that sense, it's like to an, to, to an, meant to be for an audience, for each and every reader, but not like a presentation. But uh, I think I, I want to also do more of those kinds that can be, you know, fit for, like, to, for a presentation, as well as those uh, private experiences.